What's up guys? So we're gonna try a few places here in Manila to do a food trip. I picked these places according to trip advisors reviews. We're gonna go there and check out the price and if the food is great. Judging time, manga and bagoong. So, this one is the hardest recipe. <laughs> it's just mango and bagoong. Um, shrimp paste, shrimp paste in English. So, next is uh, sorry, that's the service. It's quite oily. Mm, I think they should do something about that because it's too oily so this is a baby squid you can see it mm, it's really good it's not too salty just right there's a lot of garlic basically sauteed okay. mm, this is so nice actually I just have to mix all of it and then put this one. Mm. Mm. You try my masala. I'll be honest, I'm so full right now with these um, vegetables mixed with fruits and um, squid. And we're gonna have like one last dessert. So it's a uh, makapuno ice cream, and then that's secreto ni Maria or Maria secret. Okay, let's try it. My mom has the biggest problem in the world. She can't find the toilet. <laughs> so scared, she wants me to go with her. Like, bro. Did it show her? Did it see it too? Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> Go to the next stop because we are done. Cafe Adrian. 35.1. We are now here at the Cafe Adriatico and instead of drinking coffee, I decided to just drink caipirinha. It's a Brazilian drink. already and my mom is eating the sticky rice with uh, I don't know how to say that in English but it's basically just um, brown sugar eight out of ten and this is five out of ten Um, this place is not bad. Uh, the food is okay and the drinks is also okay. Sorry for me here. But then it's quite hard if you're sitting outside. There's not enough waitresses that can assist you outside. So you have to like wait until you get inside or you have to go inside and ask them or tell them your order. So I don't think that's a good idea. So I really hope that this chorizo with garlic is good because I was about to cancel it. The order was taking so long and I don't want to stay in one place because I want to try other places. So I hope this dish will make me happy. <laughs> like seriously. And I already built out also so that we can just go immediately. So if you notice most of their cubiertos, their plate and utensils are all covered in plastic. That's because after they sanitize, they have to put a um, plastic cover. It's kind of oily, that's, but that's not something that you want to include, right? That. Mm. Not bad. So I think I'll give this 5 out of 10. It's not bad, but I'll just give it 5 out of 10. It's called chorizo with garlic. I don't really see any difference from a normal way of cooking chorizo. It doesn't taste special. So that's that's my review for this one. Came across Bilajo. Uh, I used to come here before to drink and be with my friends. Normally, there's like a lot of tables and chairs in the middle and there's a band. But right now, I think it's either still closed because of the community quarantine or it's closed because it will open later on. 5 p.m. Pero kasi before, di ba may tables? Ngayon, wala na sa gitna. Kasi sa labas na, ay sa loob na lang pwede kasi penalty kasi pag sa labas po ma'am. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Sige, pag pwede na. I asked those guys if they still have those bands and tables and doing Oktoberfest. But it seems like they're no longer doing that ever since COVID happened. So now they just gotta wait for the government to allow them to do parties and all. So still currently walking until we reach Robinson. So actually I'm home already. We're home now because I got so tired and I feel like if I stay outside, I'm just gonna continue ordering 
even if I'm already full like literally I'm so I'm still so full from the first restaurant that we went so yeah this is the sauce mm.